64 valiant steed here and today I'm just gonna go over the reverse lights on a push-button transmission car now from the late 50s through the 60s when you ordered a car you could order it without backup lights can you believe that yeah well it's true you could um, go to a car on the lot and say I want that car but they may not have reverse lights in it back then so what they would do is they would just take it and uh, add a little kit and uh, it was a simple little thing that they they used to get your reverse lights to work a bunch of wires a little disc and uh, some light bulbs can you believe it it was very simple and I'm going to go over this really quick on how when you engage your reverse button how the lights go on so of course you have your car like that you push your reverse button the lights should come on right so how does that work well I've got a little model here the transmission push button one of the many that I've purchased over the years so here it is I'm going to lay it down kind of like if you're laying on this floor right here and you have your head to look up underneath the dash you will see this and this little disc right here does all the work when you push the reverse lever the reverse button that little lever engages this disc and the lights will come on now you hope that they would come on so just something as simple as that a little a little disc here's one that I've taken off another one you can see the little prongs here looks like little antennas on a bug and the best way to know if your car has this is as you can get down look up under the dash and look right up underneath and you'll see the push button you'll see the cables coming out for the brake and for the transmission and then you should see this little disc right here with the two white wires and then you should also have sockets in your reverse lights so this is the little disc right here on your car the reverse light switch and this is for automatic transmissions only so you follow this first white wire it goes down to the four and then over to the four and right to your reverse lights now if you have sockets in your reverse lights then you most likely and if you have the wires then that was installed on your car because they wouldn't have even have a not even a socket or a wire if this option wasn't placed onto uh, the car so just take a look see if you've got this little button if you've got the button and your lights do not come on when you hit reverse you of course check your bulbs and then check the sockets and make sure that they're free of rust and very clean and you're getting good connections and they just check your connections along the way anyway so I just wanted to show you that because a lot of people don't know about that and it's just something as easy as that which when I first got my car I had no clue I thought there was other ways of doing that but um, just can you believe it it's just so easy to look at it like that once you learn about it it's just like oh how come I didn't always know about that but uh, there it is just a little disc and just gives a little bit of power to reverse bulbs. Alright, I hope this helps anybody who's wondering if they have their backup light systems working or you know why it's not working. Um, occasionally there's kits that come up available on eBay or if you go to pick a part you need this part, you need the white wires and you need the sockets. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps you. Thanks a lot.
for watching.